just as a bit of a change to my normal Bang & Olsen stuff, you can see I'm wearing my Hammerite racing cap. So we're going to have a look in the garage. And, uh, well, I just love the idea that Hammerite and his race cars that want straight to rust paint on them. Anyway, we're going to have a bit of a look inside my garage and see what's happening in there. Let me just clean on this lens. For some reason it gets greasier than I don't know what in here. I don't know what it is about these iPhones, but I just seem to get them filthy all the time. I just want to play with the cameras. Just you know, put your fingers over the lens. That's what I always seem to do. Oh, I'm just sat in my uh, Jag. I've got a bit... There's my hand there. Hello. Yeah, I got a bit disenchanted with the uh, Bang & Olsen recently because I failed to fix things a couple of times and I made a couple of mistakes and uh, try and do some car stuff instead because it is in the old title of my channel, so... You know, I've been working hard on this, I've, you can't really see it now, so the battery's hung, unhooked, but I've fixed the radio and the clock in this car. And I've done a few other mods in the past, like, you know, the wood wheel. I've tried to make it into a nice sovereign, really. I've got some picnic tables in the back to go on the back chair and uh, some other stuff. Yeah, as you can probably tell, something didn't go too well recently in this car. I had a bit of spot, just a spot of bad luck. I was driving along and uh, the temperature gauge started to just, you know, get towards the wrong way, the wrong side. Yeah. And uh, pulled over and the engine wasn't roasting hot. It was probably like there. And uh, the water, the radiator water had just gone, disappeared. It just vanished. I thought, ah. Uh, that's not good. Obviously, I didn't take the cap off straight away. I let it cool down as you're supposed to. And then I checked the oil and I found where the radiator water had gone to. It was like, a, you know, it wasn't that cottage cheese kind of stuff that you see when the head gasket's been gone for like ages. It was more like a flat white or uh, hot chocolate, something like that. It wasn't oil coloured. That's what I'm saying. Basically, it was not good. So obviously I've started that, this massive project. Gotta get out of here. Oh, let's get down here. Yeah, this is the most ambitious thing I've ever tried to do. Let's see, the head's not on there. Uh, and I'm not really great at this stuff. I'm not really good at this old car thing. So this is me, about, it's me being ambitious. It might be easy to some people, but this is definitely, it's a stretch. It's a stretch for me, definitely. I've got the instructions, so that's good, that's fine. And I'll probably do a time-lapse video of me putting it back on, because it might be you know, me struggling with things. And just say sorry, I'm shaking the camera around a bit, so I'm not, I haven't got one of those gamble, gimbal, twisty things. I've not got one of those, I've just got my iPhone. I'm not overly invested in all this YouTube stuff yet. But I'll do a quick tour of the other stuff in the garage, the other projects. I've had this car flipping ages as well. I've had it since probably 2010. So even though it's absolutely worthless, I'm kind of attached to it. Because it's pretty and it does, you know, it's a good looking car, it's comfortable. It's worth a 50 pound head gasket kit to have a go with it, I think. Even though many people said to me, why don't you just scrap it? It's worth a go, I think. I'm also gonna be asking your advice when you know doing a bit of body work on this. Somebody ran into me in a pub car park and drove away. What a nice fella he was. But uh, yeah, so there's a couple of marks on it from that that need to be addressed. So I don't, I'm not gonna make it perfect, but as long as I can make it kind of, you know, split the filler here. This was actually a blooming new wing, new arch in there that's been welded in. So that's just typical. They did it on the side that was actually in uh, better condition. Perfect. So there's a bit to do there. And there's also some other little bits down below to do here and there. So it's been sat a while now. Yeah, this project's been going a little while. Yeah, there's a bit there. There's a bit around the front of the wheel arches. You know, that kind of thing. Same the other side, really. It's not horrid. It's just a few bits that might need just a touch up. See if we can make it a bit better and just slow down the uh, 
corrosion just a bit. Well, if it gives you some idea of the projects I've got going off and uh, I'm going to try and film some for you because uh, just look at that wood grain. Oh, I just can't get over how nice it is. How is this car worth just so little when it, when it looks like that? It's just gorgeous. If I could have this everywhere in my house, I would. And uh, we'll try and improve this old girl. Like and subscribe and hopefully I'll be back in touch in a couple of weeks when I get the head back from my friend who's taking a rusty bolt out that I couldn't get out. See, I told you I wasn't great at this.